Pontus. <laughs> what inbred fools they really are. Do they think they could live in peace and simplicity? While thousands of their troops march through our land without a care in the world? I have been betrayed so many times. Like my father and his father, even my grandfather and great Sir Lucas was murdered in betrayal. So it feels good this time to be the betrayer rather than the betrayed. And what have they brought against us? Rabid hillmen without discipline, young boys cowed with fear, and phalangites so green they hardly know which end of the spear to use. Is this all you could bring to bear, Pontus? I was wrong those years ago when I thought my blood was weak. Now I feel God's blood curse through me like lightning. I have the hunger for conquest and nothing. I mean nothing will stop me now. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. Yes, and last time, the cheeky little Armenians came down and decided to have a fight. Uh, we weren't expecting that at all, were we? Luckily, you know... Uh, Edessa is a very rich city, so thank you, Armenia, for that. We are now, of course, recruiting some proper armies down here, hopefully ready to take up the reins. And we're also, of course, fighting Pontus in northern Anatolia. Hopefully we can get rid of them soon. So then we can just sweep back through and just take the rest of Anatolia in one big swoop all the way up to the Caucasus and that's where we'll end our northern conquest when we get to the Caucasus uh, because no point going past there really it's gonna be a big war with Scythia if we do and not really fancying that too much <laughs> uh, but yeah big war in the Caucasus of course uh, now in terms of our armies where was the army from Crete going slash where are they now are ah, they're on there they're ready to go so that was the army we we're going to take into greece wasn't it now whether that's viable now <laughs> i don't know this episode though guys as well we're going to try and fight um try and fight try and go all the way until diadotus comes of age he is 14 so it could be three or four turns before that happens so we're going to try and get all the way through that but first things first let's go for maruka the new capital of the bactrians this army's not the greatest army you've ever seen. In fact, are the mercenaries available? It'd be nice if we could afford some of those boys, but I'm not going to cancel any buildings for that. We don't need to, do we? And, uh, yeah, let's go and have a go at these guys. They do have some Thorakitai, which are a very strong unit. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. Eumenes is taking revenge on the Bactrians for what they've done to Adimanthos. So let's go and take some more revenge. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Tonight we will feast and drink. Tonight yes, we will. Yes. We truly are the heirs to Alexander right now, aren't we? We very, very, very much are. And honestly, let's just go through the main gate. <laughs> I'll set these guys up just in case uh, they're really heavily defending the main gate. But I think we can chase them off the main gate indeed. Um, get you guys there with our horsey boys, our horse archer men. Very good indeed. Hopefully they can fire over okay. And the reason why I don't want to get that on. There we go. We got unit banners on as well. Yes, we do. I've been doing a lot of cinematic uh, stuff recently, guys. So that's why I'm uh, kind of looking at what I've actually got on. Uh, hopefully, we don't actually get fired at by the towers if we come down here. I don't believe we will. But it'd be nice to get a few shots off on those Thorakitai especially. Uh, those are the Peltas. So the Thorakitai on the main square, they are. We've got to save a couple of arrows. Can you guys fire yet? No, I guess not. So we'll try and use them within the city. I think they'll do... Whoa! Better within the city. I don't know what that was. Here they come. Now we can surely fire. 
Surely we can fire now. And let's see what happens. Let's see how many we kill. Probably not very many. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any dead bodies down there right now. Uh, but that's fine. So let's uh, let's bring our boys forward. Come on, boys. Let's go. And we'll bring our heavy cavalry forward as well. Ready to smash into the enemy. Come on, boys. Let's go. Very good. Come forward. Should be getting some good shots off there on the hoplites. Gonna have to make a breach soon, but we need our infantry to come and sort of sort us out, really. I mean, the horse archers can hardly fire right now. I think we go. I think we just go. Get in. Try and make a little bit of a breachy boy. And get in there. There we are. Good. Nice. The Roperoi get in behind. Honestly, I kind of want a drawn-out fight in the streets and just go and take the town square. <laughs> that would be a nice, easy job, wouldn't it? A job well done. Nice and easy. Uh, and let's get our heavy cavalry in here because I think they're going to have to uh, have a bit of a scrap. We should be able to beat the Greek Peltas fa fairly easily. Oh, the units look so good. It's so good when you get the remastered units versus the remastered units. Really nice indeed. Good, 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 good. So what do they have? They just have hoplites on this side. So we really just need to kill that general. That would be the main thing to do here. I mean, we could come down this way and try and bait that Thorakitai out. Oh, look at the gate. The gate is a mess. <laughs> the gate's a mess, boys. A severe mess. <laughs> They're all trying to get in. They're all trying to do what they want. Um, but yeah. Keep going. I mean, if they're going to do that, it's a very good opportunity for us. Come on, men. Cavalry, get in there. You are slugs, aren't you? You are true slugs. True slugs. Of the highest order. Well, I think best thing to do would be to come, like, for these guys, would be to come around here so they can actually have a good firing line at the Thoracitai. Now, they might get a Javi off or two, but it's quite good to get rid of those Javis Early on, before they use it on my infantry, which is a lot more vulnerable, really. Um, so, yeah. Horse archers get round. Oh, hello, cavalry. I really don't want you to do that. <laughs> That's really not a good idea, my friends. Um, I think we come up here with you boys. We'll send a Thoroporoi behind you as well. See, I knew we'd bait them. Uh, you guys get in there. You guys... Can you guys get all the way around there, potentially? I know it's a bit of a ball lake, but it's fine. Yeah, killing a few of the Thorakitai. Th like I say, they're the main problem for us right now. Cavalry, have you managed to get round? Good. Now, where is their general gone? Oh, he's come and joined the fight. I mean, that's good for us. Let's uh, get behind here. And if we can get you guys on fire at will and fire some jabbies into them. We do have some very good cavalry, so I do want to charge my cavalry into his, but there are a few men in the way, <laughs> namely Hoppertes and all that sort of thing. Uh, I mean, if you're going to just chase me, we will come round, but it looks like you're not. Now fire at them in the back. That's where we get all the damage. Come on, boys. Nope, they're coming back. Ah, oh, poor AI. Poor AI. I do feel bad for it sometimes. <laughs> Ah, uh, the laugh probably says that I don't. <laughs> but anyway, poor AI. Poor old AI, huh? Nice, these oh, these general bodyguards are having an absolute shitter. Let's rally so you don't uh, get in the fight, my friend. Yeah, you're right at the back now. How's that Thorakitai looking? Good. Let's come back up this way then. Start firing at it again. I fully want to, uh, you know, isolate the Thorakitai, really. But I just don't want to fight them on the town square. Well, they'll fight to the death. How has the cavalry charge gone down? Pretty well. Let's come back out and charge again. Okay, that's their king. Deaded. Fully deaded. That's what we like to see. Now, let's charge one more time. Come on, boys. That's not a charge. You ran away. Okay, there we are. Good. Good, 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 good. They're firing javis into my hoplites. That's fine. 
Guys, get over that way. Now the infantry wise. Let's get you guys all up here. Let's see whether we can, you know, force a few of them off the town square. Because like I say, we don't really want to fight them on the town square. Want them to break. And now without their king, they should be a lot easier to break. So let's see what happens here. Speed it up. Speed it up. Whether they'll uh, whether they'll chase us all the way, I don't know. Uh, it would be still nice to uh, to catch them in the act while we can. Looks like they're not going to do that. No, oh, now they come. Now here come the infantry. I think they don't want to be off the town square, to be honest. Let's go. These guys, unfortunately, are going to get a bit shredded by the Thorakitai. I'm not going to lie. Be nice. Oh, come on. Come on. Do we... I was going to go for a charge there, but... Bit annoying that they've gone back onto the town square. Get gone. Just stay there, guys. Just stay there. There. See what we can do here. One of our units is down to, like, nobody. Poor Hoplites. Poor Hoplites. They've been shredded. Ooh. Wait, just let me check my settings, guys. My audio settings once again. Yeah, master volumes on, uh, on nothing. That's better. Get pumping. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, keep firing, men. Come forward slightly if you can. Should get a bit of a better fire off now. And you could also fire at the hoplites. Let's speed it up. Let's use all our ammo. Let's be efficient here, guys. They don't really know what they're doing, do they? Everyone fire at them. Now we're going to force the Hoplites off. They really don't like coming off that town square, do they? Nope. Oh, I love this track. It's such a good track. Right, boys. Uh, I think we're just going to have to go for the grind first, unfortunately. There's not really any other options for us. Get there. You guys get there to fire at the Thorakitai. That'd be nice. Fire at them. You guys go and fire at them. And let's surround them. It's going to be a bit brutal on our Hoplites because they aren't the greatest when it comes to fighting, especially Thorakitai. But... <laughs> Yeah, we're doing all right right now. You guys should really not be firing. Let's get our general in close. Apart from the Hoplites. Inspire the men. Oh, they're getting shredded now. Fully surrounded. Like to see it. You love to see it, don't you? Absolutely love to see it, my friends. Yes. Crush them. Crush them all. Yes. Well, I mean... It it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice battle, to be honest. Uh, we did lose a few men, though. Especially that, you know, our Hoplites are pretty darn destroyed. <laughs> Get in there. Charge them as well. Bang. The Hoplites actually lasted longer than the Thorakitai. Probably because the Thorakitai were pretty damaged to start with. But that's it. Glorious victory, my friends. We've killed another Bactrian king and taken their new capital. Pretty nice. I will see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory. Once again. Very nice. And I met another big city as well. Bit unhappy. <laughs> Little bit. If it loads. Um, but we still got this city over here to take in this area. Then we'll go into... And we've got this back one. It's enslaved. Uh, we've got this back one as well. Bactra Basalion. Uh, what do we have as garrisons in there? Yeah, not, not the greatest. Uh, let's get rid... Oh, look at that. They've got a bloody monstrous barracks in here as well. We were looking at recruiting over here. But, I mean, this whole area is pretty darn good and pretty darn rich, isn't it? And I think... Oh, one turn for the roads. I can't... I genuinely can't turn that down. That's pretty darn good. Uh, do we just go straight? Let's see. What's the public order on if we just leave like 24 hoplites behind? 24 men to garrison the city. Um, well. 
clearly not great. <laughs> I mean, it's actually not too bad. About 51 plus 24 men. 75 men. Get in there, my friend. Oh, no. We'll wait a turn. Wait a turn, and we'll see what happens after that. Uh, and then over here... I think we're waiting for the repairs and everything from there, so that's fine. Another trade increase. Bactria is up there trying to expand their lands. I mean, look at Sark. <laughs> look how big the city is. It's monstrous. Um, but yeah, and then they've got these couple of regions down here. But they might have more now. They might have expanded out east. So we've got to be wary of that, of course. Uh, we're building in all of these regions, actually. Nice. I like to see that. Isonium or not, we might as well get something in there. Let's go for the market. Quite rich region now, a lot of this area, because of the trade, uh, especially coming uh, from the Bactrian regions. Like, look at the trade going. 5,500. And that's without any sort of managed uh, corruption reduction as well. Oof. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. But I think we're at the end of the turn now, so let's stick that end turn on. Let's see what happens. I might need to turn down that music volume. It seems a little bit loud. I know, is that... That's got to be... No, I, I don't... I don't think this is the final settlement, is it? I think... Wait, does it say capital or not? Yeah, it is their capital. I'm sure they, they might have another one all the way down here somewhere. Um... Which will be a bit annoying, honestly, but that's fine. Uh, let's let's deal with those settings again. Uh, well, let's go. Like there. I think that's fine. Um, but yeah. Nice. Let's gradually press the end turn this time. Remember, we've got to try and get through four turns. Don't think that's going to be possible with the amount of goddamn uh, battles that we're going to have to face. Uh, look at that trade going to Kyrene as well. Very nice indeed. Absolute trade hub over here. Okay, Cappadocia, what do you want? I'm assuming ceasefire. Oh, no, just to bribe a city. Wait, Armenia retreated. <laughs> they were like, they were like, we're going to declare war and then we're out. <laughs> and we're gone. Um, okay, Armenia. I mean, that's all only just giving me time to, uh, to build an army up against you. Uh. Mazaka, yeah, we know that's under siege. We've got our army on the way there now. Let's make sure we queue these in. So we've always got them queued. Kadoi. Uh, diplomats died. Sarka, don't care. Uh, most advanced faction. I mean, it should be us. Like, where? <laughs> why does it keep getting taken off us? Terrible. So what did we build? We built a few more execution squares. A few upgrades. And quite a lot of temples, really. Uh, but yeah. Right, let's see about leaving here. I wonder whether we can leave that 51 hoplites behind. And we actually can. Bactria ran away from there as well. Oh, I wonder where their armies are, though. I'm going to move my spy first. Oh, hello, Bactria. I mean, there's some pretty large... Oh, my God, a full horse archer army. Let's merge you two. Oh. My Lord. Let's merge you two together. What else? Because we need... If, if we're going to face that army, we need... Oh, God. We, we've got nothing. We've got no more horse archers. That's a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous army. These noble Sarka cavalry are not anything to sniff at. They've got Sogdian heavy horse archers. But we could go and try and take that out right now. Right here, right now. Let's do that. We'll, we will do that then. We'll do that next turn. Um, let's have a look at what we can leave behind then this turn. Maybe like... Let's try to leave like a 99 behind. We're obviously going to have to sort all these out at some point and get actual garrisons in here. But they're on the way, aren't they? I believe the garrisons. So, yeah, let's build then straight away trying to Hera, and that should help us out. Here come the garrisons. So let's get one of you boys in there, and let's see whether that's enough to keep it happy. Because if it is, we can send these archers over this way. Is it enough? 
It is plenty enough. The rest of you then are going to be coming down this road. All the way down the coast. Sorting out these regions. I believe you guys will probably be okay enough to... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, where are we building that recruitment hub? You guys go up to Daraspa then, where we're building our recruitment hub. Unless we were building it in here as well. No, we're not. Uh, so yeah, let's go for Daraspa. Um, and then you guys obviously can garrison all these places. That's fantastic. Uh, we're going to go for that down there, aren't we? Now, in terms of recruitment, were we recruiting many men anywhere else? Like Karakata, for example. A couple of extra Theroperoi. I think we'll get a couple more. I know it's a bit of extra cash that we don't really have too much cash right now for. <laughs> Saying that, but I've got 113,000 in the bank. Ah, what a dickhead. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, do we have the ability? Let's get a couple of practice ranges in here so we can actually start getting some Neocretan archers for this army because we don't want the standard trash Greek archers. You're going to go fight them. Now, I don't think this will be a problem at all. We don't have much infantry, but... If we got two units of elephants and four units of cataphracts, that'll be no problemo, I assume. Right. You guys are getting in there. Now is it time, then, to get Andragoras out of here and go marching once again. Big Andragoras. Okay. No, it's not, apparently. What is the main issue here, then? Cultural unrest. Culture penalty. Unrest. Distance capital. Squalor. I mean, the Odeon will sort it out, but... Wow, that's really, really an unhappy place. Come on, we need to get Andragoras going for the rest of his life. Uh, what about over here? Oh, yeah. They've got plague. We're not. That's why we're not sieging that down. Because we want... I mean, the main thing... <laughs> the main thing is the fact that we want Antiochus to survive until Diodotus comes of age. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't want to take the plague. If, if, if Antiochus took the plague and died the turn before Diodotus comes of age, I, I would be very, 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 very upset. <laughs> So, let's get over here. Let's get this army off. The Greek army. I believe, you know, this army... In conjunction with this army... Oh, yeah, we've got two armies now. And that's why we're recruiting another... Another navy, isn't it? So, let's keep on going with that. Let's get another in there. Another in there. And another in there. Just so we don't die on the crossing. Because that would be pretty annoying. Um, and let's get rid of all you guys. And let's get Ankesis the Builder out of there. And let's get you. Hopefully, Diodotus will come of age just when this army gets done. Um, and when that army's done... Let's get rid of that for now. And when that army's done, uh, Diodotus can lead it into Greece. Finally back to our homeland, guys. It's been a while. We're close by... And, I mean, it is still part of modern-day Greece, right? These uh, Delos and Naxos. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> mainland Greece. The Peloponnese and into Thessaly uh, would be nice. But we are going to go from the back straight up through Sparta. So, cool. So, we have this battle to do. You're still waiting. Antiochus is still waiting over here. We've got that battle to do. We've got an army in Antioch that's uh, having a go if they think they're hard enough. And got this one. 102. Honestly, fully fine. I don't mind. And that has not destroyed the Ptolemies. Oh, no. That's very, 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 very annoying. Right. What temple have you got in here? Osiris, which is just a happiness temple. I don't care. Let's get the roads. While we're here, and we'll have a look at seeing whether we can get this army out and onto its final destination of conquest. Just like right down here somewhere. We've got nowhere to recruit a spy as well. 
Could do with a little cheeky spy from somewhere just to go down there. Could also could also recruit two ships. I think that's the option there, isn't it? Let's recruit two ships. One can scout and one can actually carry the men. And we've got to make sure that we try and get the ships off every time. Uh, this settlement looks like it's making some cash now from trade. Good. Right, let's do that battle against Pontus. And let's... Yes, guys! Finally! Cataphracts and elephants together in a battle. This is going to be fun. Let's also get the mercenary Galatian slingers while we're here. Spending a lot of money on mercenaries and stuff now, but we are the Seleucids. What else do you expect? So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are. And we've actually got a pretty nice location. Because it's the AI, I'm assuming they're going to set up over here. In terms of our infantry, we're yeah, we've got none, really. Um, I mean, you have a few. <laughs> but some of them are very good, like the carrion heavy infantry, the Galatians, the mercenary Galatian Thorakitai, who can actually go war cry. I didn't realize that. Um, you guys, let's get you off phalanx for now so you can run. Cataphracts, we're going to group you together with big Aesis. Aesis? Aesis? Iarchies, Iarchies, probably is how you pronounce that. We'll use our horse archers, otherwise known as the elephants, as well. And we'll have—we have no archers in this actual army. Not that we need it. Oh yeah, shit! I forgot about those. <laughs> right, let's go down. Let's try and trade some skin with their javelin men, because of course, both our cataphracts and our javies. Oh, we do have archers. Uh, our cataphracts and our elephants are just not going to be good against javelins. They're going to die really quickly. So they're obviously setting up to uh, to fight the Ellies. But good luck with that. I mean, if you come anywhere close to my elephants, my men, I I'm going to charge you, you know. Looks like the AI don't really know what it's doing right now. I mean, it's not, not much of a change. <laughs> AI gonna AI, guys. There's, a, there's an eternal truth in this game, and it's that the AI gonna AI. What are you? Cappadocian cavalry. Let's get some jabbies off of them. Go. Charge them. Have a little go at them. See what they do. I don't know what their cavalry's doing. They're just kind of bugging out. <laughs> Archers there. Ellie should be firing. They are. Yeah, as I say, I'm not bothered about that Javi Cav. It's just there to try and probe them a little bit. Problem here is all their Javelin Cav. Just a nightmare to deal with if we don't have fast Cav, which we don't. We've got Cataphracts. <laughs> the slowest of the slow when it comes to cavalry. But we are getting, we are killing a lot of them. Let's just let our guys use all their uh, javies if they want to. Let's come forward. Okay, you guys have gone back. We're going to keep you in reserve now because we'll need someone to chase down the javi cav if we have to. Elephants forward again. Oh, here they come. Coming for a party. So they, I, yeah, they're just trying to use all their ammo. But once they've used it, honestly, I'm happy to let my infantry take the brunt of it. Because, like I say, really not bothered about the uh, the cataphracts and the elephants getting hit by a load of jabbies. That's not exactly something that we want uh, want to happen. So, like I say, genuinely happy to let the AI, you know, fire some of their goddamn. Missiles. Okay, you know, their archers are into the fight now. So let's go. It's time to go. All our javis have been used. So let's go forward. They've got hardly any infantry. It's like pretty much all cavalry. Okay, Ellie's. That was a bad use of you. I'm not going to lie. Chasing javelin cavalry. <laughs> so let's come forward. Let's get them. They're all skirmish troops. Worst types of armies to fight, bro. Literally the worst. Fire at them. If they come for the charge now, please come for the charge. Literally just having to stand here and just take this, you know. If you could get them, that'd be great. 
Right, let's go. I just need to catch a few of them unawares. And then hopefully they'll focus on that. Let's get the light spearmen. What are you? Asian light spearmen, bro. You ain't gonna do anything with this, mate. Come on, the elephants. Let's go. Let's watch this charge. I'm not bothered about the chaos ensuing behind us, but yes, 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 yes. Oh, baby. The elephants are going to be running rampant right now. Surely they're, they are going to break now. They're literally getting charged by elephants, my friend. So what do we have here, really? Let's get... Uh, oh, we don't want the elephants there. We want just the cataphracts. Let's go... Ellie's, come on, kill them. How can you ki not kill them? They're li literal light cavalry. Light uh, infantry. Let's go. Cataphract charge. Let's get in here. Royal bodyguards. Cataphracts have got to charge them. Let's go. This is going to be a really good charge. Oh, look at that. They are the Asian royal bodyguards as well, which is a very good unit. Get them. Are they withdrawing? Yes, they are. They don't think they can win. There we are. That's a king. My God, this is the episode of king killing. Very good indeed. That's what we like to see, isn't it? Right. Cataphracts, unfortunately, are going to be so slow in this pursuit now. Our best bet is honestly our archers and our Galatian slingers. <laughs> Where's the archers? If you could chase anyone. Who else do we have? Oh, you guys. Yes, you guys. Definitely. Going to be the ones. Here they come. They, they're, they're not tired yet. So they're not extremely slow. But they are pretty slow. <laughs> Let's go. See if we could get those hoplites. Cataphract should be able to break these guys. Because they have a scare, like they scare nearby infantry. And there's a lot of them. Yep, nice. That's what we like to see. Let's go straight through him. Get over there. In fact, you guys get there. You guys there. You guys there. You guys there. I don't think we'll reach them all. What are you doing? Keep coming, men. Come on, Ellie's. We didn't lose any elephants, though. That's one good thing. Look how slow they are. <laughs> They're uh, slower than the, uh, the the archers and the uh, javelin men. <laughs> How close are we to the map edge? Very close. Come on, men. You're so slow. <laughs> I mean, we didn't destroy this army fully. But not too bad. You know, we've not done a terrible job. Could have got some of them. I think that's everyone, right? Well, apart from this unit. Let's leave that one. We're not going to catch it. Good, 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 good. Good victory. Bit chaotic. Did lose 300 men, mainly probably because of the javelins. War elephants, 144. <sighs> Pretty nice. Cataphract's doing well as well. Mercenary Galatians, well done. Very, very good unit, that Galatian Thorakitai. But I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and yeah, easy dub for the boys. Easy dub. Now, considering where we are on the map right now, this ragtag coalition, where shall we send them? Like we've got here, we've got here. Uh, well, these two are covering the left-hand side. Could go up through the middle over here. This is a pretty big Amicia, large city. Uh, Zella over here is a large city as well. I'm wondering, though, if we just go, like, straight up into the right hand... Oh, there is three cities there. So, yeah, let's go for the three cities. Let's go straight for them. See if we've got any mercenaries. <laughs> Good mercenaries, not just trash ones, because we need a bit of more army... Uh, more of an army. It's a pretty much full mercenary stack, that, apart from the cataphracts and uh, elephants. It's probably one of the most expensive and inefficient armies that we've got on the field right now. <laughs> uh, I also think it's a very good idea to get a few more of those boys. Is there anywhere else we can recruit them around here? Akontistai anywhere over here, potentially? No, the Greek Peltast instead. Uh, well, let's just recruit them into Granes down here. So, we've done that. We've done everything we want to do in the north, haven't we? 
Yes, we have. Apart from what we're going to do here. So let's go straight after this army. Let's see whether he stands and fights. He does. Now this is going to be a horrifying battle to fight. Incredibly difficult. Mm. We might even fare better if we auto-resolve this. But... Honestly, I think we've just got to firm it. I think we've just got to stand tall and try and take the fight from... Try and take all the arrows from the horse archers and just try and shoot them down with our slingers and with our own archers. And then if they come in close, all these guys have javies. Get our main cavalry force away from them. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens anyway. It's going to be interesting. Here we are. This is going to be incredibly interesting, I've got to say. Um, yeah, and it's a, it's literally a horse archer's paradise, this map. Jesus Christ. It's not, not ideal, is it? For what we want to do. Um, let's get our men spread. Let's get them, these guys here. The problem is here, we can't put them in loose formation just in case. We've got our... Sort of uh, these boyos, these javi calves over here. Right, let's organize everyone because they're, they're so disorganized. Got you guys all in there. Nope. Wrong one. You guys all in here. You guys are going to be on the front. There we are. You guys can go behind, like we've said before. Although I wouldn't mind you as a meat shield. So, yeah, let's get those as meat shields at the front. Get our actual cavalry, including those horse archers, right at the back. And then these boys can all be together as well. And let's see. Oh, my God. It's not a scary sight at all, is it, guys? Um, I mean, I don't know what they're doing running away. They 100% don't need to do that. <laughs> like, are you going to stand and fight or are you just going to run away? Don't be pussyos, okay? There. Let's bring our cavalry in close enough to be able to respond. Now we can start firing at them. Good. Hopefully, anyway. Good. These guys, yeah, meat shields. That's all they're there for. Why do they keep running away? Honestly, very, very annoying. Let's go. Get your javies off, guys. Get your javies off. Well, that was crap. You absolute imbeciles. They're going to get th absolutely destroyed by javies here, though. That's it. That's a general death. There we go. Okay, let's get there. Cavalry. You guys get to there. Get you behind. Are they going to withdraw? Don't tell me they're withdrawing. Let's go. Here we go. What are they doing? Like, you're literally horse archers. Like, what? what what's the point? You might as well come and fire at me. Like, it's pointless. Whatever you're doing is just dumb. Makes zero sense, my friends. You guys can't fire. Let's get you forward then. Okay, here they come. You guys get behind again. Fortunate, but <laughs> had to be done. Now all these javies are going to shred them. That's what we did this formation for. Now they're finally jumping into action. That's that unit dead. Let's go straight into the mercenary Sarkas. They've finally come forward. Finally. Broken those guys. If we can kill as many as possible, please. One of my units down to seven men. Seven. Can we catch any of these guys napping? No, it doesn't look like it. 
Got to have to be very careful with a uh, big carpet over here. Not the most ideal situation for him. Poor guy's getting shot to pieces. It's only down to two men. Right. Carpet, my friend. Unfortunately, you're gone. Get off the battlefield. The rest of you, you're fine. Let's see whether we can get some jabbies off. If we go for the jabbies attack. That's what we like to see. I honestly don't know what the what their AI what their AI is doing, like. What does it think it's doing, bro? Like, surely this is killing loads of them. Go. I know you're not the greatest in melee, but you should have an easy time against these boys. I I know we know where all the mercenary cavalry went now, don't we, guys? It all disappeared. <laughs> they should be very fast. We should we should be about as equal fastness. <laughs> equal fastness, equal speed. Let's have a go at them. Yep, we should catch them there. Go, 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 boys. Go. Go. Yes, that's it. That's what we like to see. Nice, boys. Nice. Fortunately, not doing so well in the melee. <laughs> Don't want to lose all these guys either. That's the other thing. Because they might be our only option later on in the battle. One main thing here, though, is that we have not lost, like, hardly any infantry. And that's the main thing, because... That other army that they have is pretty much a an infantry army. Yeah, it looks like our cav ran away. That's fine. Are they? They're going. They got. They're withdrawing from the battle. Oh well, it's quite a bloody skirmish, I've got to say. I'm going to say quite. Very. Look at that. They killed double. But honestly, it was worth it. We got rid of a lot of horse archers there, and yeah. If we'd have had to fight them as part of the other army as well, we, we, would, we would have no chance. So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Uh, what do we do now? That's the... Oh my god. How many horse archers do you want, my friends? How many do you want? How many do you need? Oh my god. Um, That's incredibly tough. Uh... Skip across the border. No mercenaries available here. Oh, we're, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place in the north, aren't we? Let's get back into the city. Let's see what we can do about that. Um, yeah, recruitment hub up here would be good, just in case. I know I'm building a lot of recruitment hubs. <laughs> but just in case. I mean, it's a long way away from Karakata, isn't it? All the way up there. So, yeah. I mean, I think it's fine. Uh, how else is the recruitment going? Going well down here. You're building that. Was anywhere else building a bit of a military buildings? No. No, no, no. It's it's fine. We'll be able to get the uh, Neocretan archers out there as well. And then we can go on the offensive against Armenia. Right. Well, we're here then. Let's get building. And actually, we need to build in our main hub. It looks like... Oh, we were recruiting them in Seleucia. That's at least reminded me. That's good. Um, let's go for the Ludus Magna in Seleucia. Get some good uh, ancillaries for our boys. Uh, Damascus. Let's go for the Agora. Edessa. Let's go for the Aqueduct. Antiochia Migdonia. Let's go for the... Uh, how rich is this place? Not hugely rich. Let's just go for a little temple is fine. Um, I mean, the Great Agoras are going to be good, but yeah, it's just a big investment, isn't it? It's a big, big investment. I mean, it's a good investment up here at like Dura, Epirolis and, and stuff like that, but let's go for the Aqueduct. Alexandria Charax. No point building the port because it doesn't actually trade. Let's build the Aqueduct as well. Get a bit of extra population growth. Ephesus all the way down here. Build those public baths, get some more population growth again. Iconian. Uh, ooh, let's go for the paved roads. Tarsus. Hmm. I mean, Tarsus has been a bit of a problem region, hasn't it? Let's go for the secret police HQ. Get rid of all those fools. Uh, crop rotation over here in Elusa. 
And definitely the Spice Road in Hecatompolos, even though it's all the way over there, it have a lot of corruption. Crop rotation. So we're not doing the big, all building the same thing again. We'll just build based on what we think we need. So let's build some more farms. Still trying to uh, prioritize the economy, of course. Crop rotation, a bit of extra population growth and extra money. So really a good option. Paved roads as well, always a good option to get. Unfortunately, we can't get highways as the Seleucids. That would be very nice, but no highways for us. No highways. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I'm assuming there's a lot of corruption in here. Actually, none. Zero. So let's build that instead. Not going to make a huge amount of extra cash, but some nonetheless. <laughs> Ladokia, Lycos, why would you jump down there when that happens? Let's go for the trader straight away. They don't even have a trader. <laughs> Ladokia, Kata Kekaimini. Yes, a place. Right, oh, not the elite tax. Let's go for that one instead. Uh, Loranda over here again. Crop rotation. Getting that farming. Getting that population. 6% population growth in here already. That's pretty darn good. Same with Katayon. So let's get some extra population growth. I'm surprised these places don't have a huge amount more uh, <laughs> uh, population if they've got a population growth like that. Uh, Arados over here. Let's go for that extra dockyard. I know it's expensive, but... Ah, we've got cash, haven't we? But we're not going to be building everywhere this turn. Let's go for the same thing here as well. Biblos, let's go for that. And Heliopolis, Syria, let's go for the aqueduct. Only one or two more places to build now. Uh, let's just go with that extra trade income. Deliche, let's go with the Odeon just in case. And Sarayesa, let's go straight for that shrine to Hera. Uh, Kelonai, don't think we... Oh, we've got 77. <laughs> 77 left. And we, we're hardly building anywhere this turn. Ah, But now we're supposed to, uh, supposedly up to 135,000. I mean, we could probably build everywhere if we had a bit of cheaper... You know, a few cheaper troops. Try one more time, get you out. No. <laughs> ah, we did that at the start of this turn. So that's, will this be, this be our second turn of this episode, I think. So let's press it anyway. Now let's see whether we can get another turn. Armenia's got that little settlement nestled there. Uh, we do, oh my God, Ptolemies, come on. Okay, the Galatians have finally worked out how to walk around a hill. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a very good army that they do have. Now, this army behind us is, is not good. Swordsman is still good, though. Um, yeah, this is their, their spawned-in army. So this is their spawned-in army. So that's why it's so good. In terms of their troops, we've got naked warriors, so we're going to have to be zoomed out. <laughs> the Ambacti, which are absolutely brutal. The Swordsman, the Warband, the Skirmishers. Now, what do we have in response? I mean... We've got a lot of Phalangites, and that's going to do well against these guys, I hope. Especially if they're going to come and attack us. The Phalangites should be able to hold, hopefully, hold those lines. Uh, but yeah, Galatian Infantry, Swordsmen, Naked Warriors, and Bacti. It's, it's going to be a bit of a problem on top of Mercenary Galatians and Galatian Thorakitai and Carrion Heavy Infantry. This is one, honestly, one hell, one hell of an army. Now, this army coming in, it is just Swordsmen... Celtic Cavalry and their faction leader. So if we can kill them... And they go night battle! Okay. Well, we know that the uh, the enemy are going to come in right behind us. So let's try and kill that small army off very quickly. And then kill and just defend against the big one. Well, I'll see you there, guys. This is going to be epic. And look, this let's is listen. a fine day for battle. Every day is a fine day for battle when your heart is brave. Yes, it is. Thank you. Very good. And of course, this is Antigonos, one of our new generals. So there's not much more of a challenge that he could face right now than fighting the Galatians. You can see their settlement over there. So they are definitely going to be coming in from that way. 
So what I'm going to do, let's set up with our boys. Let's go and get the Agira speeders. Like, I wish if you did this, it would set them up like that. Which I think it, it does. So, let's see. Let's have a nice long line. Right, let's start over here. Let's have a nice long line on this hill. I mean, the Galatians, they can come and have a go if they think they're hard enough. But they hate coming at, at phalangites, these guys. So, oh God, didn't mean to do that. Group you guys together. Now, in terms of the other army that's coming in, it's going to come in from this corner. So we're going to come here and block it off. <laughs> Bit gamey, but who cares? Uh, not me, anyway. And archers, obviously we want you to fire over the heads of the phalangites. So, maybe if we just come slightly further down. We've got to be wary of them trying to flank us, of course. That's a bit better, isn't it? Um, and then, so we'll have the high, bas high, high bastards? High bastards? <laughs> the high bastards on each, on each uh, flank. Well, where is that army? Okay, it's there. Okay. The reinforcements are actually coming in from here. Can't actually see the edge of the map. Don't think they'll go and try and reinforce the reinforcements. <laughs> they might do. They're bringing the Celtic Light Cavalry across. But yeah, let's speed it up. Let's see what happens. They are still bringing that Celtic Light Cavalry across. What's this? Celtic cavalry. Well, let's get, like, right in its face so that it can't escape. You guys make sure they can't escape. There we are. We've got Ermayas and Antigonos going for the kill. Oh, it's a dismounted general. Honestly, I'm fine leaving it to fight then. I'm not going to try and kill it. I just wanted to kill this cavalry. And he's brought his other Celtic cavalry across to try and ferry them. But we are trying to ferry them into the afterlife. So. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I accidentally clicked off. I thought the battle would keep playing then, but it didn't. So that's good. Well, we're not going to deal with that dismounted general just yet. So let's uh, return. We're just going to make sure we try and kill everyone. Like, literally everyone. And let's maybe... Maneuver slightly differently. Um, so the annoying thing with the AI is they won't come and fight you. Like, I mean, it is a clever thing. Like, they won't come and fight uh, Phalangites head on, but it's a bit annoying because you have to maneuver so much when the AI is trying to come at you. See, what are these? Naked warriors going for the going for the charge already. Crazy bastards. Don't want fire arrows on, of course. They should be easy to kill with our archers, the naked warriors. Okay. I love this music as well. See, what are they doing? Like, you came and attacked me, bro. Do you not know this? I don't need to move. <laughs> like, what is this? Come on, AI. AI gonna AI, guys, isn't it? We've said that a couple of times already today. <laughs> See, what is this? Why are you running away? I'm not coming to fight you. I, I'm happy to wait this whole battle out, my friends. Like, genuinely. Uh, obviously, I'd cut it down if I did that, but yeah. Here they come. Galatian Swordsman going straight into the Chalka Speeders. In fact, what we should do is get all these guys guard mode. Make sure they're all on guard mode. So they've got a nice formation. You guys face the dismounted general. And then we'll charge this guy in the back. And hopefully we can kill... If this, if we kill three kings in this episode today... That would be quite kind of epic, wouldn't it? I mean, you guys go there. I mean... Rally. So you don't die. But I don't think you're going to be too happy, dismounted general. I'm not going to lie. Now out... What is the AI doing?
Yeah, only 23 of them left. We're going to kill your king here. He's literally the only brave one out of you. Oh, now that was a charge. Jesus Christ. Let's kill him. Oh, let's uh, send you to chase them down. Don't know why you just stood there. I did tell you to attack that unit and uh, decided to turn around and then just stand there. Guys, I don't know why you still think you're in melee because you're not. Right, they're just cheering after, you know, killing so many men. Well, actually, we don't need to chase them down now. So let's get all you guys arranged properly. Like, what are they doing? What is the AI doing? <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to cut it here and then... Like, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Like, definitely not in this mod anyway. Like, them just doing this. Like, what is this? Like, why? Like, they attacked me. They attacked me. But anyway, guys, I'll cut out and see what happens. So, we've got to 15 minutes. I decided, you know, we've, we've taken the city now, so they will be dead. So, we might as well go and try and fight them, because they're just going to become rebels anyway. Um, I, I don't know what this light cavalry is doing, honestly. But I decided to, you know, move my men down the hill, see what we can do. But, again, I don't know what the AI is doing in this case. They're just being dumb. But I haven't actually seen this in this mod, at least, ever. I have not seen this in Rome Remastered Folk. A very long time, to be honest. Whether we've still got enough time to actually fight the battle, I have no idea. But the AI attacked me. They should be the ones going to try and attack, especially with such a good army. Just annoying. Like, they're just sitting back and doing absolutely nothing. Like, now it seems like they're, they're wanting to move. But why not before? <laughs> like, I know they don't want to fight Phalangites, but they're the one who attacked me. You shouldn't have attacked me then. If you don't want to fight Phalangites, don't fucking attack. Stupid pricks. Honestly, come on. Ugh, salty, salty, salty. Now I've got to charge up and waste my men's, uh, make my men tired. Just because the AI could CBA fighting me when they attack me. Ugh. Well, anyway, hopefully we do, like, a nice little battle here anyway. Uh, but here comes the cavalry. Don't know what they're doing. Trying to charge Phalangites. I mean, it'd be nice to kill their general at least, wouldn't it? Well, here they come with a few men. You'd think now that these guys in the front line have attacked... They were trying to attack with more men. Especially all these guys back here that they've got, but I guess not. There goes the Galatian Noble Cavalry. I mean, this is the Ambacti as well, so we've got to be careful. They're a very, very, very good unit. Honestly, I think the time's going to run out before they'll have a chance to do anything. What are these idiots doing? Oh, God. I hate Missile Cav. <laughs> Not horse archers. I do love horse archers. I think they're fantastic. Now they come. Finally. I had to goad them into attacking, but finally they have come. Well, that's okay. These are all some very good units, though, aren't they? Right, well, I think let's get the high passes here. I'm not bothered about these boys. Fire at them. See what you can do, man. Gonna go after the Greek archers. Like I say, really not bothered about the archers. Let's go. Let's get rid of those swordsmen. Some of the Chalk speeders are taking a bit of a battering here. Let's halt. Yep, broke those boys. Let's go straight up here then. Straight away. Let's go. Hopefully we. Yeah, I just want to get a, a few kills really. go straight in the back of these guys kill the noble cavalry get in there kill that galatian warband they should be an easy target 
Absolutely ruined them. Nice. That's what we like to see. The general's still alive, though. That's the main issue we've got here. So let's come back. Probably to there. Keep going, my men. And if we can go maybe over here and try and take out that general. Ideally, I'd like to charge him in the left flank, of course. But, yeah, I think we're going all right. Let's get them. Go, go, go. Go, men. Go. You guys need to get in there. Let's get you off that. So, these guys, let's get you off that and go here. You guys need to go after them. Okay, their general's just charging into here. So let's go straight after him. Don't think we're going to get caught by anyone else. If we can, like, kill him and maybe get a mass route in here, that'd be very nice. Start walking through. I don't know where he's going, actually. Yeah, we've broken one of the units. Ah, no, no, no. Antigonos has died. <laughs> Probably killed by his own phalangites. <laughs> But at least we still have uh, uh, Ermayas. Okay, we've, we've lost on the left flank. But there's only eight minutes left. So, that's fine. Let's kill that general. Let's, let's get rid of that general, for God's sake. Okay, we've like broken this whole center here, which is pretty nice. You guys need to do that. Let's go. What is that general doing? He's just running around like a crazy bastard. Hi, Daspies. Let's go. Hi, Daspies. Hi, da hi Pastists. <laughs> if we can kill that general, I think we'll be okay. But what is this? Kill uh, Sicilian pirates. I don't think we'll bear too much of a worry against us. So, come on. Keep going. We've got to kill him. Just anything we can do, kill him. See, this is just so... Like, we don't... We didn't need to be out, have to do this. Like, we should have been defending up on the hill. But now, look at this. Oh, my God. <sighs> Honestly. So annoying. Come on, kill the general. Like, look at, look at this horde of men they have now. Like, we still need to win the battle. So, honestly... There we are, good. To take the settlement. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go hide. Like, fuck the AI. They, they didn't want to come and attack me. I'm going to hide and win the battle by running the timer out. How about that, AI? How do you like that, huh? Oh, God. Uh, I can get salty. I, I know. I'm sorry, guys, for getting so salty, but it just pisses me off. Now all the men are routing. Great. I were really, this is a really good army as well, this one. Well, they're not going to make it to this corner, are they? Is this the saltiest I've been? I don't know. I don't think it is. Maybe I've been saltier than this. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they, they're not going to come to this one. They've got six minutes to try and kill us. So, let's speed it up. Good luck, AI. Five minutes to go, my friends. Right, I'll see you at the end of the battle, guys. And I'll try to be less salty. Ah, uh, yes. Close victory, apparently, even though it was clearly a loss for us. But <laughs> hoist by their own petard, I've got to say. The AI hoist by their own petard, huh? Yes, very much so. I mean, if they'd have attacked us at the start, they probably could have won that battle, judging by how strong their troops were if they'd just come and attacked. But they had to burn down the clock. So I burnt down the clock at the end for them. I'm, that's how I'm going to put it anyway. <laughs> Um, and that should be the Galatians dead. So at least there's something good to come out of this battle. Although this army is absolutely ruined. Like literally ruined. One of the Gera Speeders is fully dead. Everyone else is just... Oh, God. <laughs> like gone apart from the cavalry. But anyway, Galatians are dead, guys. And we've killed three kings in this episode. It's pretty crazy. I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Oh, no, because we killed them in the battle, it's become a rebel settlement, and there's no way we can go and take that. Luckily, they retreated away, and honestly, it's fine leaving that as a rebel settlement for now. <laughs> we need to go and retrain that army. 
Cavalucci keeps trying to bribe. Stop bribing. Stop bribing, fools. Oh, Galatians dead. Well, the way we're going to thematically say this, you know, this is a story we're going to sell to the masses anyway. Is, uh, you know, we killed their king and they just instantly disbanded. They, they ran away. They were not too happy. They've got rum fire infantry in here as well. Well, I am 100% waiting then. <laughs> this army, it seems very much like it's going to be dead because there's no way we can beat that. Uh, what have we got here? Galatian Warband, that's the best we can get. <sighs> okay, the plague is now gone from Sasamos. So let's auto resolve that. No more plague. Enslave. Well, at least some good things have happened in this episode. <laughs> let's have a look at Gangra now again. Can we leave Gangra yet? What's your bet, guys? What's your bet? I bet no. It's getting closer and closer, but it's still not quite enough. Still not quite enough. Well, at least Antiochus has taken this settlement over here. What do we have in here that we don't want? Probably that. And what's this temple? Trade income bonus. That's a decent one. I'm happy with that one. Let's end the turn. Uh, not end the turn. Let's destroy that. Get the Shrine to Hera in there straight away. Well, you guys now look like you have a free journey up to there to be the governor. Like These armies are battered. They have been through a lot. Lots of fighting. Um, but, yeah, it's fine. Let's come around this way. Uh, let's go straight for Zella. And I'm not going to assault it with the elephants, guys. They will just die. <laughs> and we all go mad. And we really don't want that. So we've got faction announcements. No one come of age just yet. Oh, wait. Oh. Christ Alorus the Handsome. I'm assuming you are of the line of uh, Andragoras and Aristarchus. Uh, but yeah. Well, that's not a very happy place. So let's get you into there. You've got three influence already. It's quite good. We do need another general, remember, though. Uh, but I'm hoping we can get uh, Diodotus as that. We've had Argios as a governor has died in Karakata. That's okay. And Dragoras the Thinker's died there. And Xenocratus the Cold-Hearted there. Luckily, we've had someone in everywhere. That's why I double stack those generals, guys, so that you don't need to keep thinking about it all the time. Antigonus, of course, has died. Not great, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we've built in a few places as well. So, yeah. So, how long until those Neocretans are done? Two more turns. Okay, that's fine. Um, right then. So, let's see what we want to do in the north. Place where we're getting quite a lot of our success, really. Auto result. Remember, guys, we're not going to play these, like, tiny, tiny sieges. There's literally no point. Um, you can now go into Oxiana. Oxiana should be... I mean, it doesn't say it's very rich, but it will become very rich. Don't don't you worry about that. It just doesn't have roads right now, so how is it going to become rich without its roads, my friends? Uh, you keep coming along. Like I say, we're going to swap some people into there. These two archers, it looks very much like they're going to have to uh, just be archers to... Uh, just be garrison unless we can get a cheap mercenary well i guess we'll have to wait another turn then and while we're here let's build that oh that'll be why uh, ashvin's we've not had that one before let's go here and then road straight away instantly start building up the trade around this region still like these guys need roads like that'll make them so much better delos has now upgraded good to a large city in delos bizpaltis as well Deliche as well. Nice. Um, and we are cranking out some cash now, aren't we? We are really cranking with the cash. Um, you guys are there. Yeah, you guys need to go over there. Wonder where that army has disappeared to in the north. Because they didn't come and attack us. Okay, looks like they went for that. But let's, <laughs> let's just sneak that away from them, shall we? There we are. <laughs> Ran around the army to get back. 
but that's fine. Uh, yeah, Karakata still recruiting. How are we looking in Pergamon? We need to recruit. We're recruiting some Scythe Chariots. And let's retrain all these boys. Oh, it's not quite enough. Can we... Yeah, let's combine some Agira Speeders here. My, my lord. Let's get there. Well, we'll give you a, an armor upgrade at some point, my friend. Oh, did we finally get the armor? We did. Oof. Nice. So these guys have all got silver armor now. Is there anything here that gives... Yeah, Hephaestus does. Let's get that then. We need to get up to gold, don't we? That'd be fantastic. You're in there. You've... Yeah. Cool. You've got the Neocretans and the Agira Speeders now. Um, but yeah, this army is going to be done very soon. And that is going to be a brutally strong army. A really good army for us to get going with. Uh, yeah, now we've got a bit of a, another navy. So we've got two good navies. Let's combine these boys then. Let's combine over there where it's easy to see them. <laughs> and yeah, into there, my friends. Into there. Come on. You can do it, my friends. You can do it. Ready. And we're going to boat bomb Sparta. <laughs> Absolutely destroy him. That'll be fun. That will be fun. Um, but yeah, Heraclea Pontos. Cool. Now we've got Sesamos. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. So we are slowly but surely bringing, uh, bringing Anatolia under our reach. Look at that. It's just so much trade on that road. It's great to see. This army is going to be fun to use. Uh, we could also do with a bit of a general around here. So, like someone that's governing. You're 17. You're handsome. You're even-handed. Trusty. Hot-headed. Uh, another Antiochus the Angry, huh? How about you? You've got a couple of command. So, yeah. I think you're the option. Let's bring you down. Should be fine. You're called Selefkos. A new general for the armies, my friends. A new general for the armies. Very good indeed. Uh, so, down here. Ready. We've got one guy. So, we're going to have to go and scout. So, let's keep coming along. I think he's all the way down on, like, the tip of Africa. Yeah, that's still... I mean, you've got a lot of movement points, haven't you? Jesus. So it's definitely not that one. Ready. Yes, sir. It's definitely not that one. That's Rebel as well. Yes, sir. Come on, Ptolemies. And we have had confirmation, guys. You guys have voted. And the war of the success is the yes, war sir. between us and the Ptolemies was voted as the favorite war you guys have, have had for us, which is pretty cool. Um... And then it was the Northern Wars versus Parthia and Bactria. Then the Long War versus Cappadocia. Then the War of Betrayal versus Pergamon. And the Short War versus Bithynia. I guess now we could add in uh, the Galatian, the War of uh, the War of Blood, we will call it. The War with the Galatians, because this has been a brutal war. And uh, the Fast War, I guess we could call the War against Pontus, because we are taking them out pretty darn speedily, I've got to say. Pretty darn speedily. So we've done everything we can down here. I would like to escape, but it's very unlikely that that's going to happen. I think this army, fortunately, is probably dead at this point, <laughs> which is never great. Um, so let's auto sort you boys. And we've done everything we want to in the north, haven't we? So let's do our building. Let's do one more turn. I'm not going to do any fighting on the next turn, but let's see where the Diodotus does come of age. Let's get that in there. Antiochia, Mar Migdonia. Let's go for that secret police HQ. Get rid of any corruption that it might have. Susa. Susa, Susa, Susa. Awesome Temple of Tyke. Yes, please. Uh, Apamea Kibotos. Let's go with that secret police HQ. Defne definitely. Sagalassos. Go for the academy in there. Uh, no, that's a terrible idea. Why, why would I choose that? Uh, trying to take, definitely. Europas Ragai. Let's go for the aqueducts. Goodbye. Goodbye's getting quite 
rich now, I've got to say. Well, 1,500 is not rich, is it? But <laughs> let's go for the market in Alexandria, Carmania. Raithu, let's go for the Agora. Uh, Jerusalem, nice to see that upgrading into a huge city. How much corruption do we have here? Quite a lot. Let's get rid of that if we can help it. Uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Daskilion. Daskilion. Let's go for the market. The markets are quite expensive, aren't they, really? Uh, so let's go for crop rotation. They don't provide that much extra trade as well, really. Uh, Baroya. Baroya, you're there. Let's go for the Odeon around here because the culture around here is still not Greek. And that's a bit of a problem. Sariesa, let's go for that as well. Get some more population growth. And, yeah, let's get the Shrine to Hero in Kalonai. My, why not? And then Babylon. Let's go for the Merchant's Quarter, definitely. Nikephorion. Let's go for the Public Baths. Heropolis. Let's go for the Crop Rotation. Apamea Sitakini. Let's go for the... Uh, unfortunately, now, like, although it seems like we've got a lot of money and enough to build everywhere, we're at the point now we've got a lot of large cities. Let's go from the bottom for the rest of these. Suez uh, and Maruka. Let's go for the... Ooh. They're a bit upset. So let's just go straight in with the one of the shrines. And then Her Heraclea Pontos. Let's go for the sewers there. Polyrenia. Yeah, let's go for the port, definitely. Get upgrading that. Spice Road at Bactra Zariaspa, definitely. That's a very good building. Uh, Berenike Troglodi Trog Trogoditike. I mean, where are you trading with? That's the only place you're trading with right now. Definitely go for the Execution Square. You're going to have some serious corruption over there. Uh, communal farming in Kaidonia. Kauris over here. Let's go for those paved roads because they're going to bring in so much money. Tawuyoyoyon. Let's go for the sewers. Uh, Gortina. Let's go for the communal farming. Uh, Marikanda. Let's go. Marikanda is a good city. A really good city. Let's go for that secret police HQ. Uh, yeah. Get rid of the corruption we've got in there. Nisa right now. Let's go for the trade caravan. Nosos. Let's go for the sewers. Uh, you can see, like, we're building a lot more in these places where it's a lot cheaper to build. Uh, Ariathon. Let's go for the communal farming. Pessinus. Let's go for the public baths. Uh, Komana. Cappadocias. Let's go for the paved roads. We really need paved roads around this whole region, really, so we can move a lot quicker up to the front line. Because, like I say, at the minute, we're not really building a... That's just pointless. Um, I mean, let's just get that for law. Try Bactra. Let's go for the sewers. Metropolis. Let's go for one of these just for some extra law. Uh, Tachompso Selkis. Tachompso Selkis. <laughs> let's go for the, that. Uh, Dorailion. Let's go for the paved roads again. And we're pretty much at the end now, aren't we? So, yeah, let's... Probably nothing there. Uh, Halicarnassus, yes, let's get the that one in there instead. And Elephantine, Sain, nothing. Tayana, doubt we've got anything for that. Ah, we can get you. <laughs> Fantastic. I think, um, yeah, in terms of our recruitment hubs, like, it's all the way back at Pergamon. And, like, we're all the way over here now. So, we need to find somewhere that's got some good recruitment options. Oh, Tuion. We still have that. I didn't realize that. Uh, they've got a few different shrines in there. Gangra. I was thinking, like, Marikanda. Uh, where's... Or Mazaka. Sorry, should I say. It's got a good, decent start. But it's not even that far away from Antioch. But it would be a good forward operating base. It's kind of in the center as well. Well, this one's more central and closer to the front line. But it's just not got the same military infrastructure as the other ones have. So let's... 
Let's cancel that. Have we got enough for that now? No. Let's cancel something else. Anywhere around here got something that can be cancelled straight away. Uh, let's cancel that for now. Actually, no, let's not because I'll forget. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's cancel that in Antioch. Instead of that, we should be getting the temple. Yeah, the temple to Hephaestus. Let's go for that. And then let's get the recruitment in... Were we going to go Mazaka? Yeah, let's go Mazaka for the recruitment. And that can be our forward operating recruitment hub. It is a large... Oh, no, it's only a minor city. Oh. There's not really many other options, though. Some of these are large cities. Oh, I mean, that's tough. Let's get the... Uh, the Baths in there for now, anyway. Um, and some paved roads around this region. We 100% need those, don't we? Instead of the baths, see if we can get paved roads in here. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, well, we'll save that money. That's fine. This time, how are we looking? I'm assuming we can't. Really need to get you out of here as soon as possible, Andragoras. You've been stuck here for so long. <laughs> trying to sort out the public order issues. Uh, two more turns until the Odeon, though. Uh, and yeah, I think the rest of everything... Yeah, we're waiting there, aren't we? <sighs> Bactria's really, really fallen back. we still probably got a couple of big battles to do against them. We also have to come through the, the foothills of the Himalayas to get over here. But Bactria is looking not too strong right now. Touch wood. <laughs> um, but yeah. We're looking good. We're looking good. Let's press that end turn one last time. And let's see. Does Diodotus, big Diodotus, come of age? And if he doesn't, I don't think there's any military actions we've got to do on this turn. I know this video is going to be very long, but I do want to just get to that point. So please come of age, Diodotus. You may not. He may not. That's the annoying thing. Have mercy. They want Mazaka, Melatine, and Parnassus. I mean, I won't give him that, but I'll... Regretfully, no. We must be quick. How about Our ceasefire, my limited. friends? Sure, be quick. Ceasefire and trade rights. There you are. Surely you just... <laughs> yep, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. There's no way we win that. Like, we got de destroyed last time. We got absolutely ruined. Let's retreat. Let's see where we go. Oh, we actually did manage to retreat because they moved out the way. Fantastic. Well, you can go back for, to Pergamon for retraining then, my friend. Please tell me. Please tell me. Tyre has upgraded now. Good. Civil Disorder in a couple of places. Uh. Destroy that. Is there anything? Well, there's nothing we can do there, unfortunately. Just need it to upgrade so we can build the Odeon. Uh, repair those, please. And then let's just put that in for one turn. Uh, oh, no. He's not come of age. Well, is there any military stuff that we need to do this turn? That's the, that's the one question. Because we can just smash through this turn. Ignore the building for a single turn. Right, Antiochus. You've got to survive one more turn, my friend, I'm sure. Just one more turn. Um, let's see if Sasamos will be happy. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll definitely risk that. Let's go straight for the Shrine to Hephaestus. That'll bring it up straight away. And let's go straight up for Sinnoh. Cool. Antiochus is going along this north coast. Very nice. And uh, yeah, we are we are smashing Pontus back, aren't we? Let's have a look. We're on 95 now, so they're even more unhappy than they were last turn. It was on 100 last turn. <laughs> yeah, they're even more unhappy. When that Odeon's in, we'll manage to smash that Odeon out, though. So that'll be good. And yes. So the rest of the military options we've got to do. Retrain those. Uh, and might as well train those. Uh, and it was, what was it? Did we get, we got those. Oh, we haven't got an elephant. That's what. So 
So let's make sure we're training an elephant in here. Get the elephantical in there, my friends. The elephantical. And honestly, is this army ready to go? It's pretty much ready to go. One more turn. And then we got two armies for Greece. Oh, glorious, guys. This episode, as salty as I have been, has been very good. There's a lot of progress has been made, hasn't it? A loot of progress. You get out of there. We'll definitely be able to keep that them happy in here. So you get in there. Like I say, guys, I know this is going to be a longer episode, but don't worry. Uh, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time, my friend. Right. You guys go up to there. What is... Uh, they're even happy just with no one in there, so that's fine. I mean, this would be a great region to have a few governors in, wouldn't it? Um, so let's keep coming forward. We'll deal with you, you know, next episode, probably. And, yeah. Don't know where that big army's gone. It's a bit scary that they've just disappeared. Uh, yeah, let's leave. Who did we have actually in the city? Some of these guys are down to, like, four... <laughs> Oh, yeah, we had the big battle against the horse archers, didn't we? Well, let's see if we can leave, like, no men behind. Let's come there. Actually, we, we, we can. That's good. Let's go straight for Kyropolis. They might have come down here. No, they haven't. They've gone north somewhere. So, I don't know whether they've gone back there or whether they've gone to there. Either way is fine by me. Um, and I think you boys... A good time to send you up north now for the final couple of battles. So we've got a few reinforcements. Down here, you can't go in the city. Antiochus has moved. You, yeah, we'll do that as a battle. But it'd be nice to try and bait someone into there as well. That's only on 70%. That's kind of scary. Uh, where were we recruiting those guys? Here. Good. Keep those coming. They are our people that we are going to govern. Our cities. Uh, anyone else to move? Let's keep moving this ship. Keep coming, my friends. Keep coming. Keep moving the ship. Where are they? We might have to toggle fog of war for this. <laughs> Like, literally, where are they? Is this it? This is it! Yes! Aha! We have found you! We have found you! The last Ptolemies! The final Ptolemies! There it is! And it's rebelling! <laughs> oh, dearie me. They've got nothing in there as well. Oh. The final holdout of the Ptolemies. Who do we leave behind? I mean, the gold experience archers, but there's only four of them. <laughs> um, I mean, if I did that and then left... I mean, it's a Thoracitae, which is a very good unit, but only 21 of them. Shouldn't be too much. 64. Yeah, once that's built, they'll be fine. Let's go, then. Get here. How far can we go now? Ready. Not very far with people on. So we're gonna we're gonna unload them every single time. Just to make sure. Yeah, we'll unload them every time just to make sure that the ships don't get destroyed and the whole army dies, and then we can't take out the Ptolemies <laughs> one final time. Just check that they haven't got any more land around here. Yes, good. But once we've taken that, I think we should take these settlements down in the horn of it. Uh, Arabia. So there's a settlement there. Just go around Arabia, just taking all these settlements uh, with that army. And hopefully we'll get a, you know, a, a general at some point for that army. <laughs> it's just so far away, so lost. It's been on a journey, really, hasn't it? It's been on a glorious journey. Uh, so let's click that end turn. Oh, we've got the general coming in there as well. Fantastic. <gasps> I wonder whether our Neocretans are done in the capital. We're going to have some serious cash here now. Okay. I mean, they've gone for that fight. Ah, oh, come on. You've ruined the video, bro. 
You've ruined it. Well, we've got to fight that, haven't we? So I will end the video there, guys. I will end the video there. And uh, we shall see. We shall see what happens, shall we? Um, hopefully, Dido will come of age next episode. <laughs> I know this is a really long one, guys. But if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.